young world. So I'm just sitting here minding my own business. Next thing you know, my phone gets a notification. Boop. The notification says Netflix notification. They clone Tyrone now available on Netflix. What I'm saying is I think nobody should go and watch this. They clone Tyrone, Jamie, uh, Jamie Foxx movie. I think we all should just not watch it. Because I, I feel like this, all the stuff going on with Jamie Foxx. Let's just say that all the stuff people like me been saying is bogus and the Joker just recovered and is him and he's fine and there's no quote unquote conspiracy to be seen. Let's say that's true. If that's true, the fact that if that's true, that this Joker has not came and made a formal statement to the fans and to the people just uh, just out of just decency and, you know, just just righteousness and just made a statement like, look, this is what's going on. I'm good or anything to just let us know something. I think it's totally disrespectful on Jamie Foxx's part. All that has happened, all that he has allegedly been through, we've been watching. Some people are real fans and really love certain people and really want to genuinely know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Really are concerned about people, people that be praying, all that kind of stuff. He hasn't had the decency to at least turn his face to the camera, sit down and have recorded actual video and address us and let us know at least if you don't even want to tell exactly what happened, at least just be, come to us and just say, you know what I'm saying, thanks for the well wishes and something along those lines, you know what I'm saying? I feel like by him not doing that, if this is really him and there's no conspiracy, I feel like he's a piece of S for doing that. That's extremely, like, that. there's, there's no more blatant thing to somebody telling you, I'm up here, you're down there, I look at you like a peon, like a insignificant, we do what we want, we don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 how I, how I see that whole type of situation. So I, I feel like just for that alone, and also like just for the whole thing, if they're playing into all the stuff they did just to, for this movie to blow up and to get the extra, that's disrespectful to everybody who's who's a Jamie Foxx fan. You know what I'm saying? That's just totally disrespectful to anybody who might be interested in anything that Jamie Foxx does. Basically, we're just gonna sit here and just use you as a. A goddamn puppet and an and a experiment to do all this stuff, and then you're gonna go watch the movie because we came up with this elaborate scheme, because we so smart and da da da, like all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because if nothing's really wrong with him, and it's just it's really Jamie Foxx, and there is no conspiracy. This is what I picture them saying inside the board meeting about this movie. This is the the, the promotion and marketing in this movie. This is what I picture them saying. Ooh, 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 we're going to act like something happened to me. Then we're going to act like um, we, we, all the stuff's all weird and messed up and all the different information coming out. Then, then we're going to act like I'm a clone. Then we're going to put information out. My daughter going to say this. Then I'm going to come around looking weird. Then I'm going to act like we're all... Then they're going to eat. When it comes out, they're going to they call the movie Clone Time on it. When, when it comes out, they're going to go rest and see it because they... Th all that type of stuff. That's what I picture them saying in the board meeting of the marketing campaign and how they're going to roll this thing out. And we're just not that goddamn gullible and dumb. If this was five, ten years ago, maybe that would have worked. Too much real things have happened up until now for us to just be just running to that. You know what I'm saying? You got to be more creative than that. We ain't that goddamn slow. So that's why I'm saying I don't think nobody should even watch this damn movie. At one point, I was I couldn't wait till it came out so I can go try to break it down. And you know what I'm saying? See what's going on with it. But I don't even feel like I want to watch it, tell you the truth. That doesn't... I may end up watching it, who knows, at some point, I don't know, but right now I just feel like there shouldn't be no big rush to go watch this movie to push it into the forefront so they can sit there and just look at us like a bunch of goddamn fools, you know what I'm saying? I think we I think we deserve more respect than that as consumers, especially nowadays, man, because Hollywood has gotten away with many years of just treating consumers how they want and just whatever, but nowadays it's not like it used to be like when I was younger. There's so much content out there. Anybody who gives anybody their time, they should feel extremely gracious about that. You know what I'm saying? They should feel like appreciative that somebody's giving them their time. There's so much content out here to look at. So I feel like we shouldn't just jump up and go rush to see this goddamn movie. You know what I'm saying? Now they talking about yesterday the Joker is out here taking pictures with a Formula One F1 car or something like that. You know what I mean? Just. This is bogus stuff, man. The whole story don't make no sense of, of what happened to him or whatever's going on. But at the very least, if this is, if, at the very least, like I said, if there's no conspiracy and he's just recovered and that is what it is, he's just, he, he, there's nothing that should have stopped him from coming out here and addressing the public and make just making a, a statement. You know what I'm saying? Say any goddamn thing. Just out of decency and respect. 
So yeah, I feel like nobody should even go watch this damn movie until we get some goddamn answers.